Uh, we are actually going to see some very summer like temperatures. Is it our local summer yet? We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, won't be long lived though. We have this uh, ridge of high pressure. This is the same high that was sitting off to our east. It has retrograded back into our area and is sitting in Southern California and it's going to remain there for the next couple of days. This is going to warm up, especially our inland locations. We will see some warmer temperatures around the coast, but that also has to do more with just the chance of seeing less of an onshore flow, especially as we head into Wednesday. But warm temperatures expected as we start the weekend, head into midweek, but that all changes as we head into the weekend. And that is this cutoff low here and this trough of low pressure that will start to dig southward. And as it does, it will bring us some cooler temperatures. Now this temperature cool down will be less noticeable around the coast, but for our inland locations, we are going to see those temperatures really decreasing to seasonable, if not slightly below seasonal. What's interesting about this pattern here as well, you can see there's a bit of moisture with it, so that is something we're going to be watching carefully as we head into the weekend, as some models are indicating maybe a sprinkle or two. So we'll be watching this as it continues to dig down into our area. Uh, chance of showers right now, we don't have it in the seven day forecast, but we do. Uh, we are watching the chance of that. This is kind of a pattern we typically see fall winter months, so maybe we are already making that transition. We will have some gusty winds out of the northwest as well. You can see that out over the waters 20 to 30 miles per hour. We are going to feel those gusty winds on the southern portion of the bay around the peninsula. You're also going to feel those gusty winds right off of the water if you're along the Big Sur coast. And of course, in the Salinas Valley, we'll have those winds pick up later on this afternoon into the early evening with gusts anywhere between that 20 to 30 mile per hour range. But because of those gusty winds out over the water, we do have a gale warning in effect now until Wednesday 3 a.m. Again, northwest winds 20 to 30 knots, gusts up to 40 knots, creating some hazardous seas for mariners. Of course, this is from Point Pinos down to Point Padres Blancos along the Big Sur coast there. So what's the rest of your day look like? Well, we are going to continue to see those low clouds. This model not really showing that, and that is because our marine layer is very compressed right now. So the low clouds we're seeing is also in the form of some fog as well. And we're certainly dealing with some foggy conditions around Marina, Castroville, Salinas, uh, getting some of that fog starting to move in to the north side of the bay as well. Watsonville, not quite up to the Santa Cruz area, but we will continue to see those foggy conditions till around 9 a.m. And then we're going to see wall to wall sunshine. With that said, I do think we could see a few of those low clouds hanging out around the peninsula, but they're going to be very few and far between very thin. We're not expecting any widespread low clouds this afternoon. And then as we head into the overnight hours, we will start to see the development of those low clouds yet again. They will probably push into the north side of the Salinas Valley like we are seeing this morning, and we will be dealing with some foggy conditions. Again, compressed marine layer, we typically see more fog with that ridge of high pressure in play. But look at this. If you're wanting to head to the beach north side of the bay, Santa Cruz, how about 80 degrees for you? 73 in Capitol and Felton will be in those low 90s warming it up in the San Lorenzo Valley as you're heading into Boulder Creek at 95. So we'll be in those mid 90s for the Santa Cruz Mountains, 85 for Bonnie Dune, 68 for Davenport. As we head down the coast, we are going to continue to see temperatures in those 70s for most locations. So how about 81 for Watsonville, 75 in Salinas, 92 in Hollister, and the Santa Clara Valley will be in those low to mid 90s today. Monterey Peninsula will be the cool spots, uh, more specifically around Pacific Grove and Pebble, a little bit warmer in Monterey at 71 in Carmel at 72. And as you head up and down the Salinas Valley, we're going to see mainly 80s out there warming up quickly, though, by the time you get to King City with some 90s as you head into those southern valleys, Bradley Parkfield at 97, Bradley at 101, those triple digits today along the Big Sur Coast we will be in those mid 80s, pleasant weather along the Big Sur Coast and then 82 for Carmel Valley.